Hi, my name is Hudson Camilleri and I am a long-time Android user. I have had an iPhone in the past. The last and only iPhone I had was an iPhone 5C. In fact, I still have that iPhone. I have it right here in a cabinet. I like tech, I like everything tech, so I thought it would be cool to pull it apart and have it on display for no one to pay attention to other than me. But I recently switched over to a Mac, this M1 MacBook Pro right here. I also have a pair of AirPod Pros I use almost every day now. So it got me thinking, what would happen if a long time Android user like myself switched over to an iPhone for a week and just sort of tried to get the hang of things? Every time I use someone else's iPhone, even though I'm a, a tech enthusiast, I do find it, it odd, it's, it's different, and there are a lot of things about iPhone and iOS that I'm not too keen on. Um, but then there's a lot of things with Android that I'm not too keen on. So I think it would be interesting to try and switch and, and see what happens. However, iPhones are expensive. To buy the new iPhone 12 here in Australia, it's over $1,400. And, and I'm, not, I'm not going to spend that money, especially when I have a perfectly good Oppo Reno Android phone right here. So that got me thinking. I like to fix tech. I'm not very good at it, but I like to try. I've had a MacBook that I put RAM in and I put an SSD in it and it made it faster. I've had uh, a few iPhones. I tried to fix this iPhone 5C, in fact, uh, and it, 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 it didn't work very well. Um, I broke the screen a few times and we, we did fix it, but I mean now it's in a box, so you know. I tried to fix my sister's iPhone 7 the other week and it, again it didn't go too well. I mean I did fix the phone, but the home button's now broken, so that's not great. So I didn't want to fix anybody else's broken phone. So that led me to doing what I've always wanted to do and try to fix something and fix a modern iPhone. So. What it led me to buy was this iPhone XR off eBay. Now, as you can see there, hopefully, it's got a very uh, dodgy display. It was obviously dropped at some point and, and isn't ideal. But everything else seems to function all right. So in order to fix this phone, I purchased a aftermarket, but best quality, apparently, display from Crazy Parts. Um, I don't know much about it, but Crazy Parts have really good customer service. Uh, they ship parts out. I'm not sponsored in any way. I have no subscribers, so why would I be? But hopefully this display works and um, I can fix this iPhone with it and then we have a video. If it doesn't work, we don't have a video or we have a video where it shows me failing so you don't do it. Anyway. So I thought about going through each step I took individually and discussing it, but to be honest, as you can tell, I'm definitely no quality repairman. So instead, I'm going to link the repair guides and the videos I used down below. And if you really are wanting to repair your own device, you should look at those after this video as they will be really helpful.
And there we go, that is how I repaired this uh, iPhone XR. Uh, it was a fairly easy repair, and to be honest, I think it was uh, easier than the iPhone 7 I repaired earlier, uh, because the home button uh, on the iPhone 7 was really finicky and easy to break, where the Face ID, I think, as long as you heat it up well enough, it seemed to come off fairly easily. Uh, I could have gone through step by step, like I said, but I think there's a lot of better people to explain how to repair a phone than me. So I'm gonna link some of the videos I used uh, and repair guides down below if you're interested in trying to fix your own device. Uh, obviously, I'm not shooting at my desk anymore. I've uh, moved to where I did the repair. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep filming videos here, but I think it is potentially easier because I can leave the lights set up and stuff. So yeah, if you liked what you saw, please hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, I'm hoping to do a test about living with the iPhone XR in 2021. Um, so if you want to see that, please do subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you soon.